Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm covering Super AGI once again, as they have introduced a new amazing feature of Super AGI on the cloud. Basically, you can access Super AGI on the web front with their new cloud application, and this way you are able to actually play around with Super AGI on the web front easily without installation. Now, for the people who do not know what Super AGI is, it's an open source autonomous AI framework that is designed to facilitate the development and the deployment of effective autonomous agents in a fast and reliable manner. Now, this framework provides developers with the necessary tools as well as the resources to create intelligent agents which are capable of performing various types of tasks autonomously. Now, it aims to simplify the development and the deployment process, which is allowing developers to focus on designing and training agents without worrying about the underlying infrastructure now we talked about all, all of this in my previous video on super agi which i'll leave in the link in the description below and this way you will get a better understanding as to what super agi is get to understand what it is about talking a little bit about the features i even go on the roadmap as to what they've installed and this is something that i'll highlight as they release the new patch or not a patch but a new update as to what they've done in terms of its improvements as well as some of the tools that they added and this is something that we talked about in the roadmap and we can just see that they've been quite like focused on what they're trying to accomplish and they've been sticking to their roadmap which is quite great to see as a lot of projects don't actually do this so this is something that they've been able to do and focus upon now this new update is good because it adds an easier way to access this application and this is something that we'll showcase later on in the video so with that thought guys let us get into the video but before we do that It'd mean the whole world to me if you guys can go check out my Twitter page. If you guys haven't already, make sure you follow, turn on the notification bell, and make sure you check out my latest tweets over here because I'm going to be posting the latest AI news over here. If you guys haven't subscribed already, definitely do so as there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from on the world of AI. Now, there's a lot of videos too. So if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from as it's a lot of things in the AI world that I tackle. So definitely check it out. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. Now guys, this new update has a lot of different improvements and basically with this version of 0.07, it includes several notable improvements that focus focuses more on its core functionality. And there's a breakdown on the GitHub link, which I'll leave in the description below, but mostly the main feature is that they have now released a web cloud version of Super AGI and you can access it very easily. You just click on this link and once you are here, you are able to connect your GitHub link. And basically this is done by trying, you can click on this try Super AGI cloud button. Once you're there, you connect your GitHub account with the Super AGI account, which is a third party vendor. So you might need to keep that in mind before connecting anything. You might want to use a test account just in case if you are very precautious. So if you want to access it, you will need to have your GitHub account connected with the Super AGI application. And this is how you'll be able to access the web interface as well as their cloud application. Now, secondly, they've actually released a Super AGI marketplace. Now to access the actual marketplace, what you will need to do is installize the actual web application by connecting your GitHub. Once you have done that, you will be put onto this page. And basically what you want to do is click on marketplace. It will take you to this page over here. And this is where you can access different things a part of the Super AGI marketplace. Now, this is a marketplace section that has been introduced where you as a user can basically browse through the different types of toolkits as well as the Asian templates that you can actually play around with. And you as a user can basically directly install these toolkits like an image generation, which contains tools such as Dolly E or Stable Diffusion. And basically these things can be used that are involved in visual asset generation. So let's actually just talk about an email toolkit, for example. You can sign in and install this onto your thing. And this is doing, you can easily do that by clicking on the link, or, or the button over there, sorry. 
Uh, you can even do something with the Google Calendar. Obviously, these things will require you to have accounts with the different types of applications or the companies that associate with these applications. So if you have a Google Calendar toolkit, you'll need a Google account. Obviously, you need to sign in and introduce or install the a particular application that is associated with Google with Super AGI. And this is something that I'll showcase later on as an example as to what you can do. So just to showcase this, I'm going to go on the marketplace. I'm going to click on this. Now we we're talking about email toolkit. So basically I have it installed. Now you just click it over here. Once you're signed in with your Super AGI account. Now you can get more information about what you can do with this. Obviously you can send emails with attachments, read emails and send emails. And once you have this installed, you can then go to the toolkit and you'll see that you have installed that email generator, which is right over here, email toolkit. And you can see that you have installed this different type of application or this toolkit that is associated with the marketplace of super agi now you can play around with this tool by configuring it updating changes and once you have installed or played around with the configuration you can then go over to the agent create an agent go to, and you can do this by choosing a template which you've actually done so from the actual marketplace so in this case we've done it with the actual uh where was it the email bot toolkit and basically once you have that selected you can then start playing around with that agent now this is one of the updates of their super agi marketplace and this is something that they will continuously add towards as they continuously update and improve their actual application now another new feature that i wanted to talk about is the llama index integration now you as a user can now upload various file formats such as pdf docx p like powerpoints csv files txt files and even epub files and this is something that you can upload to the agent via the resource manager toolkit which you can access in the marketplace now with llama index it basically helps converting these files into a vector embedding which allows the actual agent of super agi to search for necessary information using a resource query tool now this is something that they've been able to integrate with their local storage database for vector embeddings so this is quite useful and this is something that you will be very very helpful for the tools as well as the different types of autonomous ai agents associated with super agi another thing that they've been able to also do is that they've incorporated a gpt4 32k model and basically it includes this new chat gpt or open ai's no gpt4 32k model for running agents and you as a user can basically access this model with super agi another thing that they've been also able to add is it being able to basically work with external tools and this basically means that you as a user can run super agi locally and can add custom tools by linking a github repository directly from your front end and this is by navigating the add tool button in the toolkit section which can basically provide a repository link and this is a good way for you to actually incorporate github repositories that would basically add some sort of value to your super agi agent a couple other things they've been able to improve upon is their improvements to supercoder they've been actually able to have an agent template that has been enhanced for super coder and this basically allows you to have like the capabilities to generate a requirement.txt file for python projects package.json projects also for like java like script projects and this is something that will be quite beneficial for the people who are using code our super agi for code there's also different types of improvements for code quality and this is a list of things that they've been actually able to do now lastly i want to emphasize on the twitter tool that they've added and this is where super agi agents can now utilize twitter toolkit to send tweets alongside with images gifs and video attachments now this is quite beneficial for people who are maybe running an agency for a company or you're a YouTuber or basically just an influencer who can utilize Twitter and upload different types of content on Twitter. You're able to utilize this amazing autonomous AI agent to script, send out autonomous like 
basic tweets at any time you want with any context you give it at and this is like basically a great way for you to automate your own Twitter feed. And this is something that I'll definitely check out with my own YouTube channel because you can basically help get help with an like AI agent that is basically your secretary and helping you release as well as send updates on your Twitter front. And this is basically one of the great things about this new update. Now let's actually just play around with the cool something cool with Super AGI as a bonus feature of this video. Unfortunately, guys, I wasn't able to create a, like any type of application that would be quite useful or beneficial with Super AGI. So I saw something on Twitter by Pradeep, and I highly, highly recommend that you check this out and give him a follow for this. As he was actually able to use Super Coder, which is a different type of toolkit in Super AGI. And basically, he was able to build a PDF to image converter tool without writing a single line of code. And this was done by utilizing Super AGI. So if you take a look at this, you can see this PDF to image converter, which you can upload your own PDF file. And basically once you have that uploaded, you can just click the button of convert and it'll then convert all the different types of pages of the PDF into an image. And you can then download each image onto your desktop. And this is quite cool as to how he was able to do this. And we will see in later on in the video, which he showcases this as to what he was able to do he basically just said create a simple app that can convert pdf inputs into images which are jpegs and can be downloaded through the download button and he set four different goals he said use html css as well as javascript to build this he also emphasized that create a simple app which we talked about previously and then he gave it three instructions specific on write specifications for the code, write the code, write test cases. And he made sure that the other two goals was to make it clean and aesthetic, use necessary APIs to complete the actual goal. So I'm pretty sure he had it to use a web search API with Google. I'm not too sure as to what he inputted for the APIs, but this was something that he was actually able to do with Super AGI and it just showcases that there's so many different things that you can do and with the new improvements as well as the new toolkits that they tend to add this is a great way for you to actually increase your usability with super agi as well as basically opening up your box with the ai world as you're able to utilize as well as make your life easier with super agi now, overall, I definitely see Super AGI as a powerful, as well as a versatile framework that can empower you as a developer or a user to build and deploy very useful autonomous agents quickly and reliably. So I highly recommend that you check this new update out. I hope you found this video quite useful. I highly recommend that you check out this previous video on Super AGI if you guys haven't already. Follow the Twitter page. If you guys haven't subscribed, definitely do so. Turn on the notification bell. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys shortly. Peace out, fellas.